Hello guys, it's Gazzard being on a little replay, a follow replay. This time we're playing, well we seeing a nurse in his VK4502A, the tier 8 uh, German heavy tank on the line to the mouse. It's uh, not a fully upgraded vehicle, it doesn't have the top to it. I don't know about the gun to be frankly honest. Mm, it looks like the shot 10.8. Yeah, it's the shot 10.5. Uh, 10 so we're gonna see this game. From what I heard from this, it's quite a good game, so let's look. Derp. But you can suspect this from this gun because it's really nothing to brag about. <laughs> I think that it is C9 not using gold shells. Oh, they're not. I'm one of them. Let's increase the map. Hmm, so he's going into the city. What an interesting choice. This, uh, they have a very strong uh, presence on this side. But then again, the base will be completely open to... Well, not completely open. They have five guys over there and I think that that's not enough. Oh, the E1 has uh, the T69's gun. Okay, I understand now. It makes sense. He amazingly bounces a shot. Probably upper plate. The only place that can bounce on this tank, honestly. And he got hit with a HG shell? What? Oh, I'm speechless. The Yak Panther is shooting HG at him. A Yak Panther. I'm guessing you don't have a top. The top uh, gun on that. Well, that was Artie. Probably. Doing a huge hit on him. So he's down to 800 life with only one hit out. Well, two. Yeah, one hit. 320 average damage. And you can see, as I said, the enemy team will be on the other flank. Oh, we had... Oh, this is what? Assault? Yeah, it's Assault. Okay. Never played this map on Assault. I don't play Assaults at all, so... You can see this tank is quite fast. It's more of a medium tank than a heavy, honestly. It doesn't have the armor to be called a heavy. It has the gun selections of a heavy, but that's about it. Oh, there's the G-Dub. Come on, you can get that comeback. Oh, he just hit AMX for fuck. What? So low damage. Nicely shot in third perspective, going forward not to get... Oh, I thought he's going forward not to get hit by the Yak Panther, but he went for a ramming kill. Another not fully upgraded one. Shooting HE. Oh, they're fucking platooned. No, they're not. What's wrong with the people? It's either gold shells or HE. Should want more. <laughs> Wiggling his tank like a madman. Actually, I have no idea what those were. Probably gold shells. That's what you get when you have a Yak Panther. Without the top gun. Nice hit on the IS-8, but the IS-8 returned in favor. There was... what? There was a tank here, still. But he's one hit away from death. What? 
he has the 120 mm gun on that tank. Nope. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! This is gonna be bad. He's still reloading, and he blows him up. What the fuck was the T44 doing? He drove back on his back and just standed there. Use the 100 mm gun. Yeah, that's a good advice. That the 122 mm has too long reload. For a medium tank. And suddenly they're winning. It's like five kills off. They are five kills up. So it's roughly the game is in the pocket. It's just like ending credits. But he has to get more damage. I don't think that this would be enough to give him ice tanker. Kills one guy, the AMX, T-54 still in life, so T-9 medium tank, which is playing quite good, he got hit now. Ah, this gun, Trollolaro Andri, angled himself, nice decision, bounced again, what the hell, kills the T-59. By the way guys, sorry I don't have the end plates for this because Ness send, sent me end plates for a completely other game. <laughs> so 3000 damage done. Uh, yeah, quite quite a good game. A lot of luck. A lot of luck was involved in this game but I have to say you played it quite, quite nicely. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.